Today on Making It with Chef Sherry, we are going to be making one of my all-time favorite DIY projects for Christmas. These glittery ornaments are so beautiful to look at, you are not going to believe how insanely easy they are to make. Let me show you how. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell, I'm like extra happy today. I'm extra excited to share with you a project that I think it's been nearly eight years ago since I first saw these and I love them just as much today, if not more than I did back then. So another fun and fabulous project, yet frugal. And when I say fabulous, I mean fabulous. Like take a look at these ornaments. I don't think you would guess that they're plastic. I mean, to me, they look like they're glass. I just love how there's dimension to them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. But of course we all know, like I love <laughs> glitter lights all things shiny i love to joke that i was going to take over the world and i saw something shiny. <laughs> stopped me from taking over the world okay so the first time i saw this project though i think they were using uh minwax polycrylic and i really if i'm being honest i don't even know what that stuff's used for i think it's something to do with flooring i don't know <laughs> i use it for photo transfers but at the time i had never used it and i Got to looking at the ornaments and I thought, well, they're just glitter, like glitter sticks to everything, whether you want it to or not. I probably don't need to buy that. I can probably buy some cheap hairspray. And sure enough, it worked. So again, very frugal. I mean, you could make these fancier if you wanted, if you wanted to buy the expensive hairspray. <laughs> but just go to Dollar Tree and they have all these little bags of glitter so you can do them in any color that you want. They have the ornaments that are clear, two for a dollar. The hairspray, if you can't find, so this is the pump hairspray, if you can't find the pump, it's okay to use the aerosol. You'll just, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the hairspray in here. So if we're not able to pour it and all you can find is the aerosol, you'll just spray it into there, and hold it in there like five seconds and kind of the same deal. But hopefully they have some of this because I think this makes it really easy. Again, the men wax, it came like in a, it comes like in a little paint container, you know? So you have to like dip it out of there. And I just like being able to pour this. I think this is super easy super fun so let me show you how i did it so you're going to need a couple of cups and i'm using the throwaway ones just so i don't have to worry about washing you know making sure i get all the hairspray out and stuff and so i'm going to use these for a couple of different things the first thing i want to do is cut my tags off my ornaments you know first thing throw them in the floor second thing cut the tags off <laughs> and these i thought okay so these aren't two for a dollar but look how cute that is I thought that's going to make a really pretty one. So I'm going to cut my tag off of here. And then one thing I haven't tried, I found they also have snowmen. And I've been to like several Dollar Trees here in the last week. And I've noticed they all have different things. But they all have, or at least the ones I've been to, have had clear ornaments. So when I found this snowman at one that wasn't next to my house the other day, I was up in the city, I went ahead and bought a couple of these. And I thought, I'm going to try to do it the same way. And maybe we'll put some snow in here and see how that works. So, but I thought this snowman was super cute. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to pull out this piece, the part that hangs the ornament. <laughs> so let's see if our, yes, our snowman will stand up in there. And, oh, we got lucky, it unscrews, good. <laughs> I didn't even check that first. I just thought that's a really cool kind of shape to use. All right, so I've already used these blue ones here. This one we're gonna use with our snow. So I've got two other ones to decide what color I want. I do have some pink over here I need to use up from a different package. And so we'll just do three colors in each. How's that? That will be good enough. All right. So from there, I'm just going to take my ornament and screw my lid. And I've just got a piece of wax paper here I'm working on. And you can pour a little in if you want and kind of swirl it around and wait. I pour a bunch in how I do it. And then I just turn it where I know it's like right at the edge of the opening. So none of it's pouring out, but I'm coating all of it really well without having to wait a really long time. And then we're just going to pour it back into the bottle. So this is why I really like using the liquid versus like the aerosol. And then we're going to let it hang upside down for a few minutes. All right. So then I'm going to take these. Now you can pour the glitter straight in there. I kind of like to pour it in here and then pour it. Actually, I'm not going to because that's the way I did this one. And if you can see on the bottom, there's silver there. I think it would have been prettier if I could get those three colors to separate a little more. So instead of pouring it into the cup like I did last time, let's pour it directly into the ornament. So I have a couple little, these plastic funnels that I got. These actually came from the Dollar Tree also. But you can use uh, a piece of paper, cut like a triangle, and just roll it into a funnel. And it'll work just as well. Okay. 
So I'm going to put my funnel in here. And then, whoop, I'm dumping glitter everywhere. I'm going to dump some glitter in here and maybe kind of roll it around. And let's do it again. And now we'll do a darker color. So see the colors are a little bit separated now, a little bit better. And then I'm gonna pour the rest of this in there. So now we've used all three colors. So now I'm just really gonna kinda move it all the way around. So it's kinda like striped maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that though. I don't know if you guys can see all the colors in there. Isn't that pretty? That's like almost like a rose gold. Okay, so I think that glitter stuck in there. That's fine though. <laughs> I'm gonna set that one aside to dry. All right, so now let's do, oh, I almost wanna do this one rainbow though. I do, I do. Okay, so this time I'm gonna try this a little bit different. And what I wanna do is get each one of these ready to go in a cup, each one of these colors. I have enough of these, so I'm not really worried about if I'm wasting my glitter. I mean, I don't want to be wasteful, but used to this really fine glitter. I had to pay like three or four dollars for a little tube. Like it was kind of hard to find. All right. How many cups do I need? Four more. And I'm going to lay them in the order of the rainbow, or at least what I think the rainbow should be. So purple, blue, green. We're going to use gold in place of yellow. And orange. These little cups come in handy. I don't remember where I got them at. Probably Dollar Tree, <laughs> Dollar General. But I use them for all different kinds of things. All right, and there is our pink. So I'll let me put my trash in here. And then, so I'm gonna try to do these like one at a time. And just kind of let it run down and um, I don't know. I think I'm getting too much in there already. So the whole point of what I'm doing now is maybe to just get it in certain areas. Like don't let the hairspray get all over because, oh, you know what I didn't do is we're supposed to let this drip for a little bit to get the extra out. <laughs> so maybe my idea is not going to work so well. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen if the hairspray hits like the color <laughs> that I already did, like the purple. I don't know. We'll try. We're going to go and put our blue in and see what happens here. Hmm. I don't know. This might be pretty. This might be a disaster. And I'm pouring it all over on the table. So that's cool. <laughs> all right. Let's try some green. Hmm. Interesting. So it's not covering completely, but it almost kind of looks like flames. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. We'll see what happens. Put our gold in. I don't know. That's looking pretty pretty to me. <laughs> it's looking pretty pretty. I'm getting excited. Glitter and rainbows, man. This is my kind of day. <laughs> not my husband's. I'm doing it in the kitchen. Glitter everywhere again. I'm not sure if that's the same. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. I just want to pour that on something. <laughs> it's so pretty. Kind of maybe even more of a brown than an orange, isn't it? That's all right, it's still pretty. So now we just have the pink left in that area, I believe. I don't know. I think this is really, really pretty. I don't know if I got enough glitter. Okay, I think we're good. So I'm gonna stack these up and shake this around a little bit. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, so now, now I wanna do another one. Looks just like it. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think about that one? Which one's prettier? 
this one or this one they're about the same aren't they i think yeah i can't wait to photograph them but i'm still surprised that this doesn't do anything where's that one that was draining this one let's try pouring this back in here again and see what happens no nope. i guess the glitter separates it's weird i guess it's not weird i guess it's science but <laughs> okay so here's our snowman i'm just gonna go ahead and pour quite a bit in here and roll it around try to get some up into the headpiece roll it around and then we'll just pour it back into the bottle watch i'll go to use this on my hair and i'll be <laughs> have glitter all over in it <laughs> all right i don't think i'm going to try this with a funnel because these flakes are kind of big these are the ones that we used the other day and i've got some loose so i'm just going to try to use those uh oh <laughs> it's loose because the bag's open that's why I don't know if it'll be as easy for the hairspray to work because the glitter is so fine and this is like thick. <laughs> I'm just going to put it down in there. It's kind of working. I don't know. We'll see. It's hard to get it in that little opening. I'm not sure that a funnel would work. I probably should have tried that, but I really thought it would turn completely white, but it did not. So, all right, let's try to put... Let's try to put a little more hairspray in, but I don't know what it's going to do. Is it going to wash that stuff off the sides? Probably, just like it's doing. <laughs> so instead, it is kind of pretty though. Let's go back up here. Let's, can't put that back in the bottle now because it's got, you know, got all that in there. All right, let's just turn that upside down for a second. I'm thinking I'm just going to use some white glitter and be done with that, right? Turn that upside down and I think I'm just going to, Grab my white glitter here, and we'll give this a try instead. This seemed to work a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of shake it really hard, and hopefully, because that's the last of the white glitter. <laughs> I don't know, can we tell what it is? So you can see a little bit of these little flakes. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You kind of see them in here, and they almost look like there's just spots where the glitter didn't stick, but it's actually pieces of the snow. I don't know, maybe on the tree, if you had like a light behind it, it would be really pretty. I don't know, hard to say. Look at all that. Hmm. So, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, though, is... I'm like, where's the lid? We gotta get the lid on here before I dump it all on the floor. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is you could always dress it up a little bit more. So I grabbed some paint markers because I knew once I put the white in here, I probably wouldn't be able to see his face, and I don't even know where his face is. Where is his face? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so I grabbed some paint markers. I figured we could color in his face. So he's got a face on there, but I don't, I can't hardly see it. We'll just make some dots here, even if they're not in the right spot. There we go. <laughs> he's like this. He's, <laughs> he's all crooked. I got the orange for the carrot nose, and I'm actually going to try to draw it more like a carrot paint pens are awesome yeah he's kind of cute huh he's not my favorite though not when he's standing next to all this glitter <laughs> but yeah absolutely these are my favorite you know rainbows and glitter we just need some unicorns in here okay but i also thought you could do something like so dollar tree has all kinds of cool stickers now you could put these on here and let me just pull one off and i'll show you i won't i won't make it permanent but i'll show you how what I'm thinking is like one here wrapped all the way around the ornament to this side and I'm just going to tear it off and you could do this as many times as you wanted but basically you would have all of these it's not pretty you could also use which I think on that blue one I think this would be really pretty Oops, let's get rid of that is to take these little stickers here and I'm not going to do it just because I don't feel like opening up the other package. But I do have a couple where I can kind of show you. It's just to put some little snowflakes on here. And now it's definitely three-dimensional. Wouldn't that be pretty if it was all covered? I just love the combinations of blue and silver and white at Christmas time. So I'm going to pull these back off because I actually think <laughs> they're prettier with just the glitter. Especially my rainbow ones. And all right. I think that is it though. So hopefully you guys get your kids, get your grandkids. This is a great project with the kids or maybe not so much. 
my granddaughter was at my house <laughs> a couple of months ago and she was in my office slash craft room and I have lots of things like hanging on the wall in a shoe organizer. I have like paints and glitters and all kinds of things. And she was in there looking. I said, what are you going to do? What do you want to play with? And she was like, glitter. And so I said, if you know the answer to this question, I will let you play with the glitter. And it was, <laughs> there's nine girls making craft projects. One of them is using glitter. How many craft projects have glitter on them? <laughs> and she thought I was really trying to stump her, <laughs> which I wasn't. <laughs> she, I just figured she'd probably know they all have glitter on them. She's so stinking cute. All right, I think that's it for today. So you guys, I hope this inspires you to grab some Minwax, grab some hairspray, make some glitter ornaments of your own. Make sure you grab the plastic so they don't break. <laughs> But they're lots of fun to do and they're really, really quick. Like I said, I took a little bit of time because I was trying to make a rainbow, but you do them however you like. And you could also take these paint pens and write names on them too and use them like for, to decorate packages, it's like instead of like a name tag. I hope that made sense. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>